Hello everyone, this is Cal and we're here at Lucy McKenzie Humane Society and I wanted to introduce you to a few of the critters that are looking for some new homes and to make your life just so much richer. Now this first fellow we have here is the super friendly, affectionate Cal right here. He's a big tomcat. He is friendly, comes right up to strangers, and is just a sweet love bug. Um, this boy is, oh, let's see, what are you, about nine years old? And the only reason he's here is because he doesn't like cats. He's a solo cat, and he's just looking for, oh, yes. Um, he's looking for a home that doesn't have any other cats. Um, and I have to say, I have a single cat at home from Lucy McKenzie, and she is just a joy to have. I was almost late coming here to the shelter today because she had camped out on my lap. But if you're, oh, he's vibrating. If you're looking for just a sweet, mellow cat to have in your life, Cal is a wonderful choice for that. Oh, just stunning redhead. Oh, yeah. But no. And all the different personalities of the cats here at Lucy McKenzie. It's always nice when we just get an easy going fellow like this. Oh, oh, I can hear you purr. I should put the microphone on you. Everybody, this is Max. He is our smallest, most energetic boy here at Lucy McKenzie. And things to know about Max is he's not a puppy. This is a middle-aged beagle. If you want some hilarity in your life, this is a six-year-old beagle, and he fooled me completely the first time I met him, thinking he was just a yearling. But Max is here because he's a beagle. He is very good at escaping out of yards when he's unattended, but when you're with him, perfectly wonderful, loves to go for walks, loves to explore in a yard at a, at a dog park. And restrictions on him, you know, definitely a fenced yard if you're going to be letting him out. But remembering again that he does need to be supervised in that yard too. Hi, he's good with kids, he's good with cats, he's good with other dogs. He is just an all-around good little dog. Do you want to run? Do you want to run? Okay, go run, go run. He's like, please, let me smell. But he is a charmer. My favorite thing about Max is when he gets excited, he bounces all four feet coming off the ground at once like a pogo stick it is adorable what's this what's that what's that what's that Whee! oh if only i felt like this in middle age <laughs> oh nice recovery are you ready go get it oh <laughs> oh it's so fun my nephew once asked why does your beagle run like that? And I'm like, because it's fun. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You ready? Go get it. No? What you doing? What you doing? Ha <laughs> ha. Isn't he adorable? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yes. No. It is. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, I got you. Oh, that was a good play, Val. Oh, I got you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, if you are looking for a clown, Max is the clown for you. Get toy. Let's get toy. <laughs> what you got? What you got, you silly Billy? Go get it. And now this is an unexpected new member here at Lucy McKenzie. These are Degus. They are social small little rodents from South America. Um, if you haven't had a little critter as a pet before, these little ones are curious. They are fast, they are energetic. Um, if you want a little thing to make you smile, these little Degus are yours. Um, like all small rodents, they do need to be socialized um, and, you know, worked with um, very frequently to become friendly too. Um, they're very responsive to treats. 
So they're tree trained like so many critters. Um, and they are social, so it does mean we're adopting geese in pairs. Um, and they need a, you know, a fairly standard rodent setup. Um, a big difference is they need a nice solid floor. And then, you know, um, hay, alfalfa, um, alfalfa pellets. Um, again, a fairly standard rodent care that way. But chin they're related to chinchillas, so like a miniature, more energetic version of a chinchilla. But if you want a little cute source of happiness in your life that doesn't have to be taken out for walks or big litter boxes cleaned, these little tiny rodents are yours. You never know who you're going to meet at Lucy McKenzie. That is for sure. Everybody, this is Charlotte. She's just a nine month old puppy. And she's here because she was an oops puppy. Um, so she's just <laughs> looking for her first good home. Um, she is a sweet hound dog. Um, let's see, my favorite things about her are those ears. They are the softest things you will ever touch. If you need something soft and cuddly in your life, it's Charlotte. She's a young dog. Um, she can be nervous around strangers, so she still needs socializing and training. But that nervousness lasts usually just a few minutes. Oh, did you get a, did you kind of catch your lip right there, girl? <laughs> oh, let's see. The funniest thing about this girl are those gray eyebrows. She already has gray eyebrows and muzzles, even as a puppy. So she's good at wearing her old lady costume. Yep, she is almost full grown. At nine months, she'll get a little bit thicker, maybe an inch or so taller, but she'll be a nice Labrador sized hound dog. Oh, she is cute. Uh, um, oh, this girl, she has a, I would say hound is her strongest, followed up, you know, secondary by that lab. And she definitely has a little more of that fabulously clingy hound dog nature. Oh, thanks. My teeth were so dirty. I appreciate your help. Let's see. And for her old lady costume, I should probably let you know other news at Lucy McKenzie. We do have a Halloween concert coming up over in Woodstock at the Town Hall Theater. It's gonna be the night after Halloween, so Friday, November 1st. It's a Halloween concert with some wonderful lineup of performers and bands. So, really, thank you. Thank you, Charlotte. So if you wanted to come support the shelter, have a fabulous time out on the town, definitely put that on your calendar. But if you want to have an even better time, bring Charlotte home and then give, bring us pictures to show at that concert. But you are adorable. But we have some really sweet dogs here at the shelter right now. Young, old, affectionate, um, but no, she would be a really good starter dog. Um, as a young dog, she does um, well with kids, um, well with cats, other dogs, you know, just slowly starting to socialize her with everyone. You are a sweetheart. Hi. You're so pretty. You are just going to clean my face. I'm sorry. Is it everybody's feeding time? <laughs> oh, everyone. This is Boots. Boots is a six-year-old girl, and she walks right up to you. Personable, social. Oh, I know. That is another cat. Um, but, oh, hi. I'm sorry. Did you want to headbutt again? That was a, that was a blast. But, um, let's see. Whoops, there goes Boots. <laughs> oh, there she goes. There she goes. I know. Hey, sweetheart. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, yes. Um, but, uh, let's see. Here in our cat condo area, we have a tuxedo like Boots here. We have some beautiful tortoise shells, short hair, long hair. We have a red head, but all sweet social cats just looking for some love. And you, my dear, I know you were also looking for breakfast. But, <laughs> but no, feel free to come and meet any of these sweet cats. Um, and most of them are here simply because in like so many situations, life changes and their owners simply aren't able to take care of them anymore. Um, 
to no photos or do their own. These cats are here. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Everybody, this is our most beautiful boy here at Lucy McKenzie. This is Louie. Um, he's an energetic two-year-old hound dog. Um, he is a dog that just needs an experienced dog owner. Um, he's here because he was just a little too energetic and a little too young for his people. Um, let's see, taking this beautiful fellow home. Um, no cats. He loves them. They do not love him. Um, other dogs pending introductions. And just as he's young and exuberant, um, you know, maybe older, older dog savvy um, kids for him too. But um, my favorite thing about this fellow is just his joy and enthusiasm. And you should watch him run. Are you ready? Go! Are you ready, Louie Louie? Louie! He has this beautiful bounding gait of a greyhound. Did you find a chipmunk? Turns out he likes chipmunks too. But he is a sweet, affectionate dog. And as a young dog, you know, he's just still working on training, still working on some manners. <laughs> Leaky cheese squatting to pee. What a good boy. Hey, Louie, when you're done, come and see me. Oh, you're so good at following directions. Oh my gosh. He's that type of dog where doing slow motion videos of his ears when he runs is half the pleasure of owning. You are just a joy. He reminds me of a thoroughbred. Just that long, limmy body, those beautiful, shining coats, and two white socks like the best racehorse. Would you like to play? Oh, hi, handsome. I put you in the shade, didn't I? Oh, you are so... Oh, and just like Charlotte, those amazing soft hound ears. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Louie, you are just a stunner. But if you're looking for some pure enthusiasm, have lots of space to run, and just need some beauty, Louie is the fellow for you. But, oh, good boy. Did you just retrieve that? Yes. Uh-huh. What? If you drop it, I'll throw it again. What? Oh. Oh. Squirrel. You ready? 